welcome back guys and in this series i am going to show you how we can create a bookmark application so what are we going to build so i planned to create a bookmark application where we can see a list of urls which you know, i find interesting while i am doing a lot of reading on the internet so the idea is that if there is any URL, for example, let me go to my own website. And if I click on this URL, let's say, you know, someone went through this article and they found it interesting. So now they can bookmark it. So I can go to bookmark add, click on this link, uh, sorry, paste the link, hit enter, and we will fetch the information like the url the title of that you know page and an image these are all coming from the og data of that tag so if you go to the source code of my website you can see i have og site name og title and all those stuff right we are reading that from this page into our bookmark application and then i can save and this is here right so i think this serves a very small purpose but it does it well so we will start right from the start we will see how we can do the entire login and registration part you know we will log into the application this is my listing page and we can add bookmarks okay what are we going to use for this i'm going to use inertia.js along with react and not only react we will use react along with typescript Okay, so that I can show you some of the very powerful and very useful stuff which you can do with TypeScript, how it helps you in your development. We will also see how we can set up Webpack along with certain other important stuff to get TypeScript to work with React.js inside our you know, entire Laravel mix setup. And while we go along, I will continue to show my Git workflow so that you get an idea of what are some of the important positions when i feel it is important to commit code push it to our repositories okay and also you will be able to from time to time refer to those commits so that you get a sense of what code i have written and how i have progressed apart from that as i told you we will be using a package to get the og data in this entire application that package plays a very important role so yes we will be going through that package installation then in using that thing okay will which you will see in the subsequent videos and then right what i'm going to cover in this video also is deploying the laravel application to a linux server recently i had done a laravel react typescript inertia js video in hindi where a lot of people find so recently i had done a video in hindi using laravel inertia js react and typescript pretty much the similar stack but the language was in hindi and although many users found it very useful they had problems hosting the application some of them had problems with inertia js some of them in general were finding it difficult to host the application so i decided why don't i create something for them to understand how i push my laravel applications to production right from installing the softwares like nginx php mysql on a clean linux server okay so yes i'm going to cover all these things in this video it's a two hour video and if i get good response you know maybe i'll put this application on a public url so that others can use it as well and i'll see if the community is helping me you know grow maybe you know you never know i will add more features to it if i get a positive response so yeah so looking looking forward to this series and hope you find it interesting